Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to download brushes to use in Photoshop. I'm going to jump over to the internet. I'm using Chrome and there's two sites that I love for free Photoshop brushes. One is brushking.eu and the other is brusheasy.com. Now both of these, if you're using the brushes for commercial purposes, this is probably not a good idea because they may be copyrighted, they belong to someone, but if I'm just using them for something I'm doing for myself or for use in class, this would be fine. I know for a fact that this brush works. Not all brushes on the site will work. They're all created by different people. Um, you can go and you can click on different um, categories here of the type of brushes. I happen to know that this is a fantastic brush. It's got different opacities and transparencies. Um, it's got a lot of movement. They're high resolution. This is a great brush. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on download. Now I'm using a Mac so this might look different on your PC or on the computer that you're using but when I click on my download it is putting it into my downloads folder. I'm going to click on this little arrow right here. I could also, my downloads folder is on my dock but I'm going to go to show in finder. I want to see this file. All brush files are going to be zipped. They are compressed for quick load on the internet. So I'm going to double click on that zip file and I'm breaking this out. Even if this pops up, you might be okay. I'm breaking this out until I find an ABR file. An ABR is a brush file. Now if I double click on this, it'll bring you back into Photoshop and we'll see a little poof and that is the brush entering Photoshop. Now how do I access that brush? Well I'm gonna go grab my paintbrush. There are several tools here that will use brushes, right? Let's put that in parentheses. That will use brushes but for this one I'm going to take my paintbrush, I'm going up to my option bar, and then this is all the different brushes that I have downloaded. Now, there's different ways that you can view this screen here, and you can make the screen larger. Let me kind of rip that out a little bit. Some people use brushes to paint. I'm going to use my brushes to put almost like images in my document, right? So I'm going to change the way I'm viewing this. So I'm going to go up to my settings here and I'm going to get, I don't care about the brush name. I also do not care about the brush stroke, what that's going to look like. I only care about the brush tip. So that's what I'm looking at here is my brush tip. Now at the very bottom of the brushes panel, I can zoom in so I can see all my brushes even better. This is a brush that keeps popping up that I've got active. And then I just downloaded my brushes. So they're going to be all the way down at the bottom. Here's a folder. Let me expand that folder and you'll see these are the brushes that I just downloaded. To use one of the brushes, you're going to choose one. You can change the size here. You can rotate the brush. You can squash the brush. Um, I'm going to get rid of this by just kind of clicking up here. And you can see that there's my brush there. This is the color that my brush is going to be. Let me flip it to white and I'm just going to Boop, just to show you what it does. And that's how you can download a brush to use in Photoshop. If you want to know how to manipulate and edit the brush, I have another video for that in the graphic design 2 folder. Thanks for watching and good luck.